Lake Lanier is one of the largest lakes in Georgia and a popular tourist spot. But if you've been watching the news, you know that more and more people are starting to come up dead from drowning. New statistics show that this year, 2023, is the deadliest since 2019. But this is not the first time something like this has happened. Lake Lanier has a history of drownings. So before Lake Lanier existed, in its place was the black community of Oscarville. Oscarville was founded in the late 1800s during Reconstruction and was a thriving black community full of carpenters, uh, blacksmiths, bricklayers, and farming as the top trade. Like a lot of the black people, uh, I think they said about 58 of them um, had their own land, right? Well, that was until 1912 when May Crow, a 19-year-old white woman, was found dead in the woods near Oscarville, presumably after being raped. And y'all know what happens when America's sweetheart is found dead. They start blaming and lynching black men and destroying black communities. Rumors spread that black residents were threatening to dynamite the town if there, if there were lynchings. And in response, the white residents organized a mob to attack the black people in the county. Sadly, they did eventually blame two black men who they beat and hung from a telephone pole. Black homes and businesses were burned down, and many black residents were beaten and forced to leave their homes, many of them leaving behind hundreds of acres of land because not everyone could sell it. In the, night, in the late 1950s, the Army started to construct a dam on the Chattahoochee River to create a water reservoir for the city of Atlanta. Well, when the bulldozers and the excavators started working, they uncovered the remains of the community of Oscartown, revealing homes and churches and tons and tons of graves. The Beaufort Dam was built and Lake Lanier was formed, covering up Oscarville and swallowing up most of its history. And that's why some people believe Lake Lanier is haunted by all these drownings, because the recreational lake was built on top of what was once a thriving black community.